Baby Asher, a refugee treated in an Australian hospital after suffering burns while in an offshore detention centre, will be returned to the camp. Now, despite protests from doctors and Australian people, the ministry did not back down on its own policy. Well, for more, we're joined by Greg Navarro from Sydney. So, uh, Greg, uh, just give us an idea. What's the government, Australian government's uh, change to its asylum policy here? Well, in this particular case, it did back down slightly in that the little girl and her mother, instead of once her medical treatment was finished, which is why she was moved from the offshore detention centre to Australia, uh, instead of sending them back directly, uh, they agreed after mounting pressure from her doctors at that hospital who refused to release the little girl and then protesters, as you see there, uh, for more than seven days camped out in front of that hospital. They agreed to move her to a community detention centre. That's basically within within Australia's shores. But as you mentioned, eventually the girl and her mother will be moved offshore back to the island, uh, back to Nauru. The reason for this is clearly political. When you look at the amount of attention uh, that uh, the amount of attention the protesters uh, focused on this, uh, certainly there's a rising segment of the electorate uh, of those people who support the current government that uh, don't like the idea of children in detention. All of this follows a uh, report that came out just a couple of weeks ago from the uh, from an organization here where doctors interviewed former children who had been held in detention basically came to the conclusion they had never seen so much trauma in their 50 years of practice. So that certainly uh, appears as though the government's move here has calmed those uh, calls for concern a little bit. But as you mentioned, the baby and her mother eventually will be headed back to that offshore detention center. And quickly, Greg, you say that there may be a slight softening uh, by the government and obviously a, a rising feeling among Australian people uh, about the treatment of asylum seekers. Will we see any change uh, in policy more overall, not just about baby Asha? Well, that's a tough one. You have to remember the government taking such a hardline stance here can't appear to be softening in any way. Otherwise, it could uh, face criticism that it's soft on certainly border protection. There are 267 other asylum seekers who came from offshore detention centres are currently receiving medical treatment here in Australia. It does not look like this particular situation will help their cause at all. The immigration minister saying earlier today that they will, in fact, uh, as of most asylum seekers who come here for medical attention, end up going back to those offshore detention centres. Uh, well, Greg Navarro for us in Sydney. Thank you.